Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be doing a Michael Kors handbag cleanup video. The Soho is going to get a nice little wipe down and I'm going to show y'all uh, how I clean my handbags. And I'm going to give you some tips that I have seen thrown about on the internet. And we're going to help each other try to understand how to clean our precious goodies. Our preciouses. I did it. But before we get into today's cleaning video for my Michael Kors handbag collection, if you guys love Michael Kors, purses, handbags, hauls, fashion, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, please hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Let us get into just a couple tips before we start my cleaning process. Number one, cloths. Please, for the love of good God, use microfiber cloths. For the most part, you should always attempt to use a microfiber cloth when cleaning a handbag. I mean, any handbag generally. I made a very bad mistake. So for those of you who are around my channel, I found this and I, I almost botched the hell out of this already botched wallet because I did not use a microfiber cloth on it thinking like, oh, you know, it should be okay. It should be okay. It's a, it's a goddamn cloth. Ma'am, I almost damn destroyed the damn wallet. I'm not kidding. Look, look, the, the, the results don't lie. The results don't lie, ma'am. Like, I botched it. I was like, oh, God. Oh, God, please forgive me for this sin. Please forgive me for this sin. Because I can't forgive myself. Oh, child. What's that? What is that? I Microfiber cloth are your best friend when it comes to handbags, especially leather. Second tip, don't get your handbag dirty. Don't get your handbag dirty in the first place. Do not be a slob when it comes to placing your handbag down or something. Like if you have a really nice piece, like you want it to be preserved. So don't get the damn thing dirty. Avoid, uh, I'm bad for this, but pens, markers, makeup, avoid that kind of stuff. Uh, always, if you are going to put hand creams or something, put them upright. So like the squeeze, like the opening is at the top or put it in like a bag. Always be prepared because you won't need to clean your handbag if it's not dirty. All you'll have to use on a regular basis or a semi-regular basis. Like there's sometimes where I don't wipe down my handbags for like eons and like they look perfectly fine. Um... A water, cold water, and a microfiber cloth. So I'm going to start demonstrating now. We're going to start off with my black Soho. I'm going to try and be quick just because I know that, like, who gives a fuck? But just wiping down my black Soho here. And we're just going to be very gentle. Remember, cold water. Cold water microfiber cloth to start off the cl cleaning process now you, you could literally stop after this if your handbag is in like absolutely perfect mint brand new condition stop right after this you don't have to continue on after a simple cold water damp rag wet like wipe down as well we're gonna also cleanse and wipe up my apricot studded soho and this one was something I was really nervous about. I was so nervous about wiping this one down because of how um, soft and what, like the leather seems very absorbent. And I mean like super absorbent. Um, like if you get rainwater on it, it looks like it's like staining the bag, but it's perfectly fine. So 
wiping this down if there's any like watermarks left over after uh w with a damp microfiber cloth wiping it off uh, it's okay give it a few minutes those white or those really dark spots should completely disappear i've seen it disappear so it don't worry don't fret if you get some water on like your studded soho the matte leather just it makes it look like it's like stained it's just give it a couple seconds a couple minutes and the water will just it'll be gone and you won't have to worry And heck, let's just throw in my Michael Kors Bedford travel medium satchel thing. Let's just wipe that down too. This one needs a, a good wipe down. This one's probably my oldest Michael Kors bag. So we're going to wipe her down as well. She does have some coated canvas. And she also has some engravings on it. So we're going to have to be careful with her. We don't want her to get damaged. So we're just going to do like a nice little, again, damp rag, cold water, microfiber cloth. I can't stress that enough. Don't fuck up like I did. <laughs> and once you're done or, you know, whenever I'm done, we're going to move on. And for anybody wondering, yes, you can use any microfiber cloth, like the cheap ones, the expensive ones, like they all are basically the exact same so we are gonna take a separate or if you want you can clean the one you just used I prefer to use separate because I don't like uh I don't want like dirt transferring on from the whatever whatever right so grab a separate cloth and I use this leather conditioner here you're gonna want to use a leather conditioner huge tip huge pro tip when it comes to leather conditioners water based for leather only like if you are using these for handbags please do not use anything other than a water based leather conditioner because you will ruin the hell out of your bag so i personally like to use walter's 1893 leather conditioner i actually bought this from a shoe store at don't crucify me. I know some people are like super against using uh, shoe cleaner on bags, but this is all purpose. This is for like literally everything. It even says it can be used on bags. So just make sure you are using a water-based leather conditioner and you are using a handbag safe leather conditioner because some leather conditioners might be stronger than others or like for specific tasks. So get an all-purpose generalized handbag safe leather conditioner that is water-based and you'll be great you'll be good to go so with that being said we are going to take our second rag our second microfiber cloth and we're going to take this and we are just going to squirt some into the microfiber cloth not too much we don't want to we don't want to do too much at once because you don't want to like soak the cloth because if the cloth is too wet, you're going to like soak the bag and that's when you run into like oversaturation on the leather and like you don't want to ruin the bag. So remember, damn, we don't want a soaked cloth or bag. So just a squirt or two, maybe three, depending on how big the bag is and how quick you're just going to go over a surface area. It does dry with in a few seconds like it's not like an instant dry but it does dry fairly quickly so if you are using a lot i would use use it quick otherwise do like a pump or two at a time at least and then just lightly lightly go over the bag and i mean lightly just just brush it over the bag let's brush it over my soho's I'm sure I'm already done the Soho now because I know I'm doing a voiceover over this, but as you can see, it's not ruining the leather or anything, but you will see with colored handbags, like, or like with leather handbags, there, there's a high chance of 
leather bleeding. Now leather bleeding is just the dye running a little, uh, dye transfer, that's kind of like a half common concept for it. Dye transfer is more like the color just transferring on like, clothing or clothing colors transferring onto handbags. But uh, generally with leather conditioners, generally if the color bag or if the bag isn't drum roll dyed or something, I don't know exactly y'all. I'm not a professional, okay? Let me make this clear. I'm not a professional. Using any like conditioner generally will, at least the one I'm using, I, I see online that conditioners can generally do that to handbags. Just it's not, uh, it's not cause for alarm. But just make sure you just lightly go over it. You might get some dye on the rag or on the microfiber cloth. You're fine. Just keep going. Do your thing. Get the whole bag. Uh, now with bleeding, there's a third step to stop bleeding. But for the third step, after conditioning our bags... Because of the dye transfer and the bleeding of the leather, we definitely want to reseal the leather. So for today, for my handbags, we're going to use a beeswax. And we're going to like, just with the beeswax, we're going to completely reseal the whole bag. In a technical term, like, it, we're not like actually resealing the bag. We're just resealing and concealing the color and the dyes within the bag. So we're going to take a third microfiber cloth. Yes, a third one. Uh, again, I do use Leather Better. It is made with beeswax. It is in the, this big tin. You're going to notice some fuzzies. Like, I just throw a microfiber cloth in here and hope for the best. So there is fuzzies on here. Not a big deal. I really don't give a shit. Uh, this has a lovely smell. This has a absolutely lovely smell so it doesn't and you're not gonna have to worry about it smelling like crap or something or ruining the smell of your handbag it has like a very nice citronelle or like a citrus smell very nice it's very uh refreshing actually so just taking our n another clean microfiber cloth we're gonna just lightly dab it in you know kind of make like a circular motion to kind of activate the beeswax a little get it a little loosened up so it's into the cloth and then we're just gonna nicely just rub it along uh but we will have to be careful with the beeswax just because i find when using beeswax uncarefully if you get it, if you just start like throwing like coating the thread on your bag you'll notice that the wax will like once it hardens it'll just like chill on the thread <laughs> It does not ruin the thread, don't worry. Uh, you just like, you know, just like kind of like flick it off and you know, just dust it off a little or whatever. It's... So for both of these products, this is not for suede. These are not for suede. I am not, like girl, I c suede is tough and I, I don't think I'll do a video on that. But I did forget to say that you should always wipe off the rest of the beeswax after letting it sit for 5 to 10 minutes because if you don't then uh, your bag will be very waxy and we don't want a waxy handbag, now do we? Now I'm going to show you guys some before and after footage. I'm unsure if you'll be able to even notice any type of a difference between the two but there is a noticeable difference in person, and I'm very happy with how they turned out. This is just like a generalized leather guide. Like, you can use this on like a coated canvas and uh, like that kind of thing. I don't think I would use it on like a coat. I, I don't think you can use these products other than like the microfiber the damp microfiber cloth with cold water i don't think you could use these two products on like cotton or polyester product so do keep that in mind i i can understand if people are very hesitant on trying to clean their handbags like it is a confusing and there's just so much conflicting information there's people telling you one thing there's other people telling you another and you're like what's the tea what am I doing I'm scared this handbag is $500 and 
I don't want to ruin it. And I'm with you. I am totally with you. So hopefully this answers one of your questions. <laughs> hopefully it helps. I know it helped me. I was like, especially with the leather bleeding. Oh my God, y'all. I was like almost crying over the leather bleeding. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> but it was fine. It was fine. It was normal, apparently. So I was like, oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. There's going to be a hundred people in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred 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 Or a thousand. Nine thousand. Or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room. In the room. In the room. And ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Don't don't believe in you. Oh. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's clean up video for my Michael Kors handbags. I thought it was a good idea. I know some people have requested it. I get questions every now and then on how I clean my bags and I feel confident enough in the decent amount of knowledge I've collected to give you guys a video on it finally. Like I do know I've been talking about it for a while and I've been putting it off for a while because it makes me very nervous to even attempt cleaning handbags. Like I can get, I'm just like, oh my God, like I don't want to ruin anything. And most times you're not going to, it's just an anxiety because the bag's expensive. But with all of that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had. Share with your friends and family. And check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, ooh, brain fart, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I, I think it was good. I, I... I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over.